Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Junior Midnight Moon, the Piston Cup Racing Legend from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let me discuss it. In the, or the discussion, let's start with the let's get right into the unboxing. So, here we've got the Cars 3 logo which is flipped and rotated and his die cast inside and the name Junior Moon and the Mattel logo a bit of red and black background and on the back we've got the Cars 3 logo and the description saying blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves to get back on top he will need the help of a young race technician Cruz Ramirez Inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, Doc Hudson, and guidance from a few old friends, Junior Moon, Smokey, Louise Nash, and River Scott, along the way. And on the back, we have Manny McGeer, H.J. Hollis, who I don't have, River Scott, who I also don't have, Terry, Gar Terry Cargaz, Phil Tankson, who is coming from eBay, and had been ordered last week on Thursday and Chris Rev Stopsky who I unfortunately don't have and on, we have the Mattel logo Disney slash Pixar 2017 Mattel which this was released back in 2017 the year that Cars 3 came out in theaters so now without any further ado let's get right into the unboxing I'll be back. Now I'll be back as soon as this had been unboxed. So here we've got Junior Moon all opened up and out of the package. So, Junior Midnight Moon is a 1940 Ford Standard Coupe who happens to be a Piston Cup racing legend from Thomasville, Georgia, the former home of the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet. And, and, he was known, and he was known to be a pioneer as well as a moonshiner, meaning that in their universe, moonshine means running, at, running racing at night without any headlights when the moon is up and lit, I think, and was voiced and inspired by the late NASCAR legend Junior Johnson, and he used to be number 11, which was, that number was shared with Mario Andretti, Chip Gearings, Chris Roman, and Pileup, who I unfortunately don't have. During his appearance in Cars 3, he was seen in the cotter pin along next to his fellow racing legends, River Scott, this is actually the Hot Rod River Scott, and I, which I, in a, and I don't have the normal version, and Louise Nash, who I unfortunately don't have. And he was also seen when Smokey was telling Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez about how Doc outsmarted a rookie named Leroy Hemming, who I unfortunately don't have. And he was then seen when Smokey was training Lightning and Cruz a, a week before the Florida 500, and Junior, along with the other Piston Cup legends, were running moonshine in the forest when the moon was lit, which made Lightning get his mojo back. And Junior was then seen at the Florida Stadium when Lightning started the race and Cruz finished first and was amazed by her 360 degree flip, which she had heard from Smokey's 
flashback of how Doc was the first to do it. And then he was seen again in Radio Springs when Cruz received a new paint job for Team Dynaco. Then he, along with River Scott and Louise Nash, and Louise, were then seen receiving a new paint job, a refurbished paint job, but with flames, from Ramon, which was actually a photograph during the end credits. And during his diecast releases, he has only been released twice as a single and in a multi-pack with the other hate with heyday version of Smokey and Louise and a dirt track version of the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, but with the red wheels. And has not been re-released -re ever since. So now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his stubborn facial expression, his front chrome silver gray front bumper, his headlights and grill, and on the hood we have no tampos. Although although this his black paint job of his is a bit weathered, which it has a bit of dirt on him, a bit of weathered on him. No tampos on the top, no head, no side view mirrors. And on both sides, we've got the white wall tires, which are also a bit weathered. And his door, which he's a two-door coupe. And the silver trimming on the side and on the hood, I forgot to mention. And, and on the back, we've got the taillights and the chrome silver gray back bumper. And the license plate saying Moonshine. And... And on the undercarriage, we have Disney slash Pixar, Made in China, Mattel. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Thomasville inhabitants. We have Smokey. Oh. Sweet Tea. And... The fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, River Scott. This is actually take note that this is actually the hot rod version, and I still don't have the regular normal version, and his hot rod self. And now let's pull up some some of the. And now for the other Ford vehicles, we have Duff Rex, who is a 2000 Ranger. Lizzie, who is a 1923 Model T Coupe. And Brent Mustangberger, who is a 1965 Mustang. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Thomasville Inhabitant is your favorite? And which Ford vehicle is your favorite? And which car for tomorrow do you wish for me to review next? Should it be Don Crumlin? Chug? Patty or Taco? Or both? Or separate? per day, or the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below, as well as on the voting poll. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!